Hey y'all, I'm Jasmine W. Welcome back to my channel. Hey girl. Oh, <laughs> I'm giving y'all a little bit too much today. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's nighttime and I just finished watching Insecure. Let's go. If you are new to my channel, let me tell you how it works. Okay? Oh, here we Usually go. Usually on Mondays, I do my Monday update video so that you can follow my journey in comedy since I've quit my job to do that. We're in quarantine right now, so I've decided to switch and do Thursday update videos for now. And then um, on Mondays, I will talk about Insecure and I will do my recap on the latest episode of season four. Okay, also, let's get to it. To my channel, I am married, but I don't wear my ring in the house, okay? So don't come in my comments talking crazy. Well, wear your ring in. Anyway, so I just finished watching um, episode two of season four. I took a few notes that I have in my phone too because I don't have a good memory, okay? So this is gonna be my recap videos. I'm gonna We know, girl. Oh, this is your this channel is my life and this is my business as tabitha brown would say thank you exactly um, i will say right now that i did my recap on episode one and my not only my cousin but my good friend um i'm not gonna tell y'all which cousin it was y'all know which one it he, was <laughs> he told me today that he didn't agree with my recap girl what what you Why don't not? agree like girl who girl how <laughs> he basically said that he didn't agree with what i said about molly not being a good friend i didn't say she was a not being a good friend i just said i could see her where she's making a few friendly mistakes that i quite a few think was cool basically um but i would probably let them slide if molly has been a good friend up, to, up until this point right my cousin also said he didn't agree with. He had a lot to the say. But I thought the security guard was basically an ancient nigga. <laughs> he was like, "What's wrong with him? I think he is a good, you know, good-looking guy." And blah blah blah. My <laughs> point got proven in episode two, okay? Because we found out at the end that he has two kids and one on the way. Trifling, no good. The reason that I did not think that the security guard or TSA Bay was a good catch, it's because I have to be able to take you in public no he class didn't even know how to bring people into the party if i have an event and i can't bring my baby because he don't know how to act that's a no-no that's not a catch to me okay i'm sorry cuz though <laughs> and my point got proven and guess what i'm feeling good anyway. okay calm down <laughs> um i have a few things that i wanted to call out this is just how i'm gonna do my videos okay Number we know one, girl molly has some good wigs in this episode all of her lace fronts were on point to me. I'm sorry. Like, we all know what a lace front looks like. Those were good lace fronts. Kudos to whoever does hair on Insecure. The second thing I wrote down is why isn't Kelly in other stuff? Because she is just too good. Like, too good. Can I get her in uh, more TV shows? Like, can, why wouldn't she in Black AF? Why? I need her to be in some other stuff, okay? Hollywood tripping because she is slept on, okay? And I don't even know her real name, and that is so disrespectful. Very I'll disrespectful. Put it right here so we know who she is because she needs to get casted in some other stuff because I love her. She's hilarious. Very funny. I also noticed that Lawrence was driving a Jag. Oh, he didn't came all the way up, huh? Because I don't think he was driving that in season one or season two. I don't remember to be honest, but I said, okay, a Jag, I'm not sure why he got one of them, but good for him, good for him. Like Jags are for like old granddaddies. Yeah. Brother, just get you a Honda Accord. Lawrence looks like he would drive a Honda Accord, like a brand new one, you know? And or a Civic. On him. And those are my highlights. Those, those are my highlights for the episode. And now we're gonna get into the things that I actually wanted to talk about. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was, um, Lawrence was very, very bothered by his new boo and his ex-girlfriend Issa talking about him briefly. Um, he was he had pressed. This whole conversation with his boys about what he should do about it. Nothing. We have to learn <laughs> that we don't have to act on everything that is said or done to us. Like we literally we do not have to act on everything. He's one of those people, and a lot of people are like this, that just tries to fix stuff. Like, that's what Lawrence does. He tries to fix stuff immediately. Just chill. Please. If it comes up again, address it. If it doesn't come up again, relax. you just did all of this for no reason. And that's what ended up happening in the episode. Now Issa's overthinking, oh, well, should I talk to this girl about it? Or what should I bring up? Or maybe now she's going to be overthinking all of her conversations with the girl. Like Issa's character is not even the type of person that would be talking bad about Lawrence to his new girl anyway. And you maybe. know that because you were with her for five years. 
or maybe you don't know that, but just give it time before you feel like you have to reach out to Issa and meet up with her about it. Like, exactly. he's doing too much. I'm sorry. Like, just let it go. But I know that some people are like that. Like, they can't just let it go. They have to address it. If I was the new girlfriend and you met up with your ex to make sure that we don't have conversations about you, it's like, damn, you got that much to hide? That's like, a no-no. Ugh, that, would, that would actually really turn me off. Like, why you meet up with your ex anyway? That's your ex. We together now. And, and you, you look crazy, but yes. I don't even want to like really talk to you. Like, I don't know. I just found the whole charade that he went on, like talking to his boys about it. That's fine. But his one homeboy was like, just let it go. And I agree. Every time you break it with somebody, you should move. Exactly. <laughs> he said, damn, I miss Dallas. Hey. town <laughs> Dallas. My motto in my whole life is I do I'm not friends with exes I don't believe you should be friends with exes I think you should move we don't believe in it on and just move on and when you move see on. them cute hey what's up then you know move. we cool forever but don't call me ever. ever yeah I mean I don't know why he was that concerned about it that annoyed me I really think that if you are ever in this situation like in a similar situation wait till things come up multiple times like, if me and my husband addressed every single time one of us got on each other's nerves, do you know how many conversations we'd be having? Bruh. I had a girlfriend one time ask me if she should suggest that her and her man have, like, weekly check-ins about the things that they don't like. Weekly? Or the issues that they have. Hell no. Do you know how annoying that is to know that you are about to have an uncomfortable conversation every single week? You can't go a week without having an uncomfortable conversation conversation about what you or the other person didn't like don't do that if my husband came in here right now and said something i didn't like i would let it go and if it happens two or three times i'd be like listen bruh you gotta chill out like on god on everything i love <laughs> that's what we used to say back in the day i'm, I'm we showing did. my age on everything i love i'm bringing that back right now on to the next thing lawrence move on just as quick as i'm moving on in this video oh please my gosh molly annoys me season four my note that i took was if that's where you'd rather be girl, girl it ain't that deep oh at my all. gosh first of all you can't cut off the cootie cat i'm sorry you can't Ooh. you can't how would you feel you if you was talking to a dude and everything was going good and he was like you know what I don't really know how things are going, so I'm going to just cut off the D. Huh? What? I'd be like, there's more where that came from. Like, you what have do to that set at? expectations in the beginning. Like, I feel like if you want to have a productive relationship with somebody, you have to start that from the jump. You can't start six months down the line after y'all just been sleeping together and then want to have a productive relationship. Exactly. Like, your priorities were messed up from the jump, Molly, and now you're upset because he'd rather go to a concert than eat your salty gumbo, girl? Girl. What? I literally think she does have a problem with everything. Like, or why not just be honest? You know, like, why not just say, I really want you to open up. Like, I really want to get to know you on a level. Yeah, we have, like good sex and we have a good kiki and a good laugh but i really want to just i want to get to know you so just think about it you know that's why i wanted to cook for you and have like this intimate kind of thing oh that was a little sexy i don't know if y'all know this but being honest with people you will figure out exactly what they're about i don't know i've just always been that type of person like where i just say what i'm thinking and it never has like i've never regretted that even if I didn't even hear what I wanted to hear, at least I know. Exactly. I just thought that, that was very childish of her to be like, if that's where you want to be at the concert. And then he ended up calling her and saying that he wants to open up to her, which he probably felt bad about the way he just left her after she cooked him for him and stuff. No, it was but salty. I do think that, um, you know, she could have handled that a little bit better. The last thing I wanted to talk about in this video was Molly at work. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, you don't know that I quit my job as an HR business partner to do stand-up comedy full-time. I'm just gonna give Molly some work advice right now. Listen up. You never shrink yourself at work or in life in general. Never shrink yourself so that somebody else can shine. Ever. Ooh, child. I think that Molly in general needs to be more upfront. If she didn't like the way she handled the account, after that account was closed, 
she should have said, you know what? I thought about it and I didn't like the way that I handled the account, but I want you and I to have a good relationship. So let's work on that. If you're very open to mature, it, if you're open to having a good working relationship with me, because we're partners, we, we have the same goals in mind. And I really want us to strive towards those goals or whatever. And then when you're in meetings, honey, and you, and you know something and you can bring something to the table, never shrink yourself so that he can feel good. You're not doing yourself any favors and you damn sure ain't doing your job no favors and you're not doing him any favors because he just said, what you want me to do more work? Like he is the type of coworker that is never going to be happy with the things that you do. The so facts. you have to just be better than him. Bloop. <laughs> Some people in life, they're never going to be your friend and that's fine, but they will respect you. 100%. I always tell people. That if you want to be able to do whatever you want at work, be top talent. You're Booyah. not being top talent if you're being silent in meetings when you obviously have something to bring to the table. Be top talent. A girl like me was able to do the things that I was able to do at work. You know, get let us know rapidly. Okay. And have all of this job security. Okay. And that's the reason that my husband is super successful at his job is because guess what? Hate it or love it. Your girl's on top <laughs> and I'm going to shine, baby, until my heart stops. I don't know the words, but okay, I'm just you telling okay. you <laughs> when you are top talent, you undefeated, boo. Like nobody can deny that. So whew, yeah, just be more transparent. I guess that is the theme of this episode is transparency is key. You know, this is I really good. don't know why at the end of the episode, Molly didn't want to tell Issa that she spoke to old dude on the phone. And that's who called her and not work. I guess she's finding herself cl being closed off from Issa. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens in friendships, I guess. You don't want to tell somebody everything because you feel like they're not there for you. And maybe she feels like Issa's not there for her right now. But you have to have a solid friendship to where you guys catch up when you catch up. Like, when me and Travis get together next time, we're probably going to be somewhere on vacation. Travis is her friend. And we're going to catch all the way up and we're going to have such a good time and it's gonna be like i just saw him you can't get mad because your friend got stuff going on and like when i see you we are gonna get together and it's gonna be cool you know so i think that molly is having issues right now because Issa was always there for her because Issa didn't have anything else going on and you're the friend with all of the business but now the tables have turned i think you have to realize that it ain't about you, you. A really good friendship a solid friendship with that person like it's cool you want just catch up when you guys catch up and remember the things that you loved about that person. Like, I don't know. I just feel like maybe they're outgrowing each other, but we will see on future episodes. We will. Um, don't play me. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead. Don't play. <laughs> uh, like this video, share it and comment if you don't agree with me, especially my friends and my, uh, and my cousins or whatever. If y'all don't agree or if y'all do agree, go ahead and comment. Cause I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. If you're watching this on Facebook, Follow my page and share this video and I will see y'all on Thursday with an update video on how I'm doing in life. And I have a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Bye. Bye, girl.